ليس الواصل بالمكافئ إنما الواصل الذي من إذا قطع رحمه وصلها A person who is a maintainer of good family ties is not he who has a tit-for-tat relationship. You know what that means? They give me something, I give them something. They give me something, I give them something. I remember I went to one country. May Allah grant us forgiveness. I went to one country and someone invited me to a wedding. Some of you will know this because it's the culture in some countries. And as I was entering the venue, there is a man sitting outside with a book. And he tells you, Sheikh, he, he asked me a question. Can I write your name? I said, no, 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 thank you. Thank you. No. And he just looked at me. He gave me such a dirty look. I didn't know what, was the, what is the issue because I was unaware of the culture. Sheikh, you want to write your name? I said, no, I, I, I really, it's okay. I don't need to write my name. And I went in. And I went in and I had the meal and everything. When I came out, the same man asked me, Sheikh, did you enjoy the meal? I said, hey, mashallah, it was very nice. He said, so would you like to write your name? I said, no, thank you. He looked at me and he said, but I said, what's the problem? He said, everyone is writing. I said, what are they writing? He says, you have to write your name. So I said, okay, so write it. He said, so how much are you giving? <laughs> Wallahi, I'm not joking. I was shocked because I was new to the culture. I guarantee you, some of you know what I'm talking about. I guarantee you. So he, 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 he said, okay, I write. I said, what do you mean? He said, you have to pay. You have to come. He said, you think we invited you for free? <laughs> like, what? My first time coming across this culture, you know? And then he wrote my name and I'm looking that they said so much. I won't say the currency because you'll know where it was. He said so much, so much, so much. I said, oh, he said, you know what? You are from abroad. You are from outside. We're expecting something better from you. Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajim. And you know what? It so happened that that moment I did not have cash in my hand. And I was so embarrassed. I told him, you know what? I can write, but I will have to send it to you. He said, don't make excuses, Sheikh. People respect you. I said, no. <laughs> so then I had to talk to him, to engage him, for him to believe me. And this is a true story. The man, he, he then tells me, he said, you know what? Uh, let me explain. I said, can you tell me the culture? I need to understand this. He said, look, when we invite people, we, as they're coming in, they, they give towards the expenses or the bride, the groom, whatever it is, right? And they write their name and amount and they give the amount. So we gather the amount and so on. And you know, it's, it's considered a gift. And if you haven't given on your way in, you give on your way out. And normally when you have a good meal, you can write your name twice, which means going in, you wrote something and you had such a nice meal. When you came out, you said, mashallah, excellent. Write my name again. I give you something more. <laughs> so he says, then what happens the day there is a wedding in your family, even if it is 10, 20 years later, we take the book out. And we see what you gave when it came to our family. Wallahi, I'm not joking. And then we give a similar amount or something equivalent. And I said, Wallahi, this is the furthest away that I know from Islam. It defeats the purpose of the walima. It defeats the purpose of brotherhood. And Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, I am using this platform to say, stop it. Stop it. Don't do that. It's wrong. You want money, collect donations. Don't have such a big wedding. What's, what's the big deal? If you cannot afford it, have something simple. Simple. And even if you can afford it, you can invite the whole world. But keep it simple. There is a difference between big and small and simple and complicated. So if you have a simple wedding, even if it is very big, no harm. But if you have something that goes beyond the limits of Allah, even if it is a small wedding, it's wrong. And this type of culture that we have clung to in some areas, Wallahi, I found this later on. Even in the UK, some of the people of a similar background were doing the same thing. They have a hall, they invite you and they have a man with a book. It's just as well that now I know what the book is all about. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala benefit us. We have a book of deeds that we are worried about. They have a book of money that they are worried about. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness.